Who are you? Mac Miller. Mac Miller, welcome to Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Thank you, man. It's great to be here. Mac, right off the bat, I have a gift for you. Yes. It is a rare Big L 12-inch. I knew it, man. Now, this is special because it's an original Big L 12-inch. An original? Where do you get all these, man? Well, this one's from Beat Street Records in Vancouver, but it's interesting you mention that, Mac. Why don't you tell the people first a bit about Big L? Yeah, Big L, man, that's one of my favorite rappers. I mean, that's really who I was listening to, Lifestyles of Poor and Dangerous. When I was 15 years old, I got a street struck, tatted on me, and this is Put It On, which was a huge single for him. And yeah, man, rest in peace, Big L. So this is the original vinyl. Where did I get it? Beat Street Records. But if you look closely on there, there's a little tag. And that's by DJ Kimo from the Vancouver rap combo, The Rascals. Ah. The Rascals, and you might know him because he did the beat for Cardinal Official's dangerous hit from a few years ago. Swag. So this is a Vancouver connection. Not only is this from Beat Street, it's from a legendary Vancouver DJ. It's from his collection, right to you. Wait, wait freight from him to me? Yeah, that's his tag right there, Chemo. And this is me. This Th that's for you, Mac Miller. This is awesome. Now, you were repping the Big L when you were doing this stuff down at the Shadow Lounge. Tell me about the Shadow Lounge. <laughs> yes! Uh, man, Shadow Lounge is a spot in Pittsburgh, man. It's uh, right right by, you know, that's where I got my start performing, really. That's where I performed when the crowd was like 100 to 150 people. And we used to do like freestyle competitions at Shadow Lounge. And it's just that's just like a lot of history for me. That's where I got my whole start. You were into like Supernatural, weren't you? You were doing the Supernatural thing. Can you explain a bit about that? People would hand you something? Yeah, we did, uh, we did this thing called Rhyme Calisthenics when I, uh, it was this little freestyle competition and Supernat, it was like always someone who was an influence on my freestyling, which I don't do as much anymore, but um, he used to grab things from the crowd and rap about them and rhyme about them, and so when I went down to Shadow Lounge, I, I kind of bit his style and did the same thing. And you got like 8 out of 10, 9 out of 10? What were the grades? <laughs> Well, the first I got the first two rounds. I made it to the finals. I didn't win though. The first two rounds I got, uh, I think nines, and then that one I got an eight, and I and then I got out on that one. It was pretty good though. Twenty four oh nine Shady Avenue. What is that? Twenty four oh nine Shady Shady Avenue. <laughs> what? Will help me out. What, what address is that? Who are you pointing to over there? Who's over there? That's my friend Will. And who's beside Will? That's Q. And who's beside Q? That's DJ Money. And who's beside DJ Money? That's Lil Dave over there. <laughs> and Lil Dave used to be in the NFL, right? Yeah, Lil Dave used to be in the NFL on the Vikings, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So here we are, back to Mac Miller, 2409 Shady Avenue. Oh, that's Dice's address? Yes! That's my high school's address? Your high school's address! I didn't go that much. I never got the address down. That's, <laughs> that's where I went to Was school. Is he just Googling it right now? <laughs> no, no, he just knew. I didn't know that that's the address, really? Yeah. I that's pretty well Shady Avenue because you have freestyle before. They say I rap like Biggie, but I look like... Shady. Shady, so I thought 2409 Shady Avenue, that's incredible. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's the street where Alderdice High School is, yeah. What sort of crews came from Alderdice? So it was the Strict Flow and the Edan, right? Yes! 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 You know who Strict Flow is. Ah, yeah, man. Edan, Strict Flow, that's like, you know, one of the original rap groups coming out of Pittsburgh. They went to Dice. Edan, I still work with today, and yeah, he was a part of Strict Flow. And I was like sitting here, and on the way, I was like, man, I hope Nardwar asked me about Strict Flow because Strict Flow is a shit. So Edan ended up with Nitty? What about Nitty, a nasty girl? <laughs> yeah, man, that was, uh, that was the first artist that Benji from Rostrum signed that with that single, Nasty Girl, yeah. What about the government puffing on the perp? <laughs> yeah, the government, man. That's that's some classic Pittsburgh stuff, man. That's from Boaz, right? All right, Boaz. That's money, hard times. You know, shout out government. That was like the classic song of like when we used to smoke when I was like middle school, high school, driving around smoking blunts. It was the puffing on the perp. Son of. Bez oh yeah, fucking berserk, man! I got that record because when I went to uh. A bit back, can you explain to the people again in your video for 
Senior Skip Day. What's happening to the people who haven't seen it? The 15, well, how many people have seen it? I think it's 11, 12 million now. 12 million now. So they, 12 million people have seen possibly... Son of Berserk. Actually, how I came across this record, I'm not going to front like I was a huge Son of Berserk fan, but I was in a Jerry's record store going through records, and I saw that record. I was like, man, this shit looks funky as hell. And I put on a record, and I listened to it. I was like, this is crazy as hell. And I just kind of brought it back because I was, thought it just looked cool, and it sounded cool, and it was just dope. Have they contacted you at all, like the Son of Berserk has all that publicity? 11 million! I know, I, I hope so. I mean, I I like went back and like researched some after I found that record and like watched some videos, some old school Son of Berserk stuff. So Son of Berserk, if you're out there, man, hit me up. You're also into the rock and roll, aren't you, Mac Miller? Yeah, a little dabble, a dabble. You're into the Lucy and all you need is love? Yeah, man, little Beatles. And I thought I would give you something that relates to them, but not particularly the record. This is the original insert for the White Album for you, Mac Miller. That's the, you took this straight out of the album? The original album. And look, it's not been perforated at all. Completely mint. How do you, you're, you're great, man. You just, what you do for music, this is great. Oh, well, thank you, Mac. But also, I have another thing for you. Also, because you, all, you like All You Need Is Love, here's the insert for Sergeant Peppers. Oh, Pepper, too? Look at this. This is gonna. My room just got so much cooler. Wow. I kind of figured you had the records, but maybe not the mint inserts. Oh, this is. So you can like cut out and stuff like that. I can, I can decorate my room. This is crazy. Look at. I just want. I just want to show you. Look at these dudes right here. Look at this man. This this man is just. That's John Lennon. So just shout out John Lennon. You know, imagine tattooed on me. Just look at these dudes. They're just great. I just like the Beatles a lot. So we've been talking about posters and records. I'm getting hungry. If I'm hungry in Pittsburgh, do I go to Primanti Brothers? Yes, you fucking do. You go to fucking Primanti's because that's where you get a sandwich unlike any other place. There's been places I've seen that try and copy the Primanti sandwich, but it's a Pittsburgh thing. Now what's on it? It's like whatever meat you want, the bomb is bread, coleslaw, fries, all that stuff, and it's just big as hell. It's like this big. Like the fries are on the burger, right? On it with coleslaw. Not on the side. Nope, right on right on the sandwich. And you get you can get whatever you want, and it's delicious. So shout out Permanis. And if I'm cruising up and down the street, what about Ritter's? Heard of Ritter's at all? <laughs> wow. Ritter's is like the ill five in the morning food spot. When you're, when you're coming back from the studio or whatever party you're at, and you got a girl or whatever you're doing, you want to go somewhere besides home. You go to Ritter's and get, you know, the food is, it doesn't even matter. The food is whatever the food is at 5 in the morning, but it's delicious, and I love Ritter's. It's like, it's like, it's the ill diner. What about the big O? The O, yeah, man, the original hot dog. You got, you've, have you been to Pittsburgh? No, I haven't. <laughs> you look, you seem like you. Well, I look like I'm from Pittsburgh. <laughs> you just look like you were just there, like, last week. Yeah, man, the, <laughs> are you sure I swear I saw you? What right? does somebody look like from Pittsburgh? You. Yeah, I, I, they look like me, you know? <laughs> <laughs> they're at the big O. If they're at the O, they're having the brick of fries. Is that what the O is known for? They're having fries. They're probably dipping them in some, you know, gravy, maybe vinegar. You know, they're getting the hot dog, the original hot dog. And if you go there at the right time, outside, that's where I got into uh, one of my first freestyle battles, which is something that no one, I've never told anyone, so this is a little exclusive info for you. How about Grand Buffet? Have you heard of those guys? Yeah, I have heard of Grand Buffet. They're funny dudes, man. From Pittsburgh? Yes. From have you seen them play? No. Would you get them to open for you at all, Mac Miller? In a Berg show, yeah, I want to do like a big festival with a bunch of Berg rappers and everything. And you have to invite Girl Talk too, because Girl Talk, he holds it down, doesn't he? Dude, shout out Girl Talk. Have you met Girl Talk very much? Have you talked to him? Yeah, man, Girl Talk's a real cool dude. He's funny as hell, and he's just like a nice ass dude, loves music as a genre and all genres, and he's been doing huge things for cities for a long time. Mac Miller, you know you've made it in Pittsburgh when dot dot dot. When people show you love. When Ken Rice says your name. Yes, when fucking Ken Rice says my name, dude. I was on the fucking local news, man. Yeah, you... Who is Ken Rice? The mustache guy. <laughs> <laughs> Ken Rice. Ken Rice is uh, is a news reporter from on KDKA, which is a local channel and uh, news channel for yeah. And he said my name. I grew up, you know, watching him give me the news. And at some point, he decided to say that I was repping for my city, so it was pretty cool. I love the enthusiasm in which you said, I was on the local news. I <laughs> was. Like, not MTV, I was on the local news. Like, he's representing Ken Rice. That's what I'm saying. I mean, like, don't get me wrong, MTV was sweet and everything. All that stuff is cool and crazy. But, you know, uh, the local news was, like, wild for me because that's, like, I, you know, I grew up, 
you know, and I watched the local news, and I never thought I'd see myself on there. Neither did I think I'd see myself on MTV, but, you know, local news, man. <laughs> what happened over there? Could you explain? <laughs> <laughs> Which one of y'all just busted ass? <laughs> And who is that again for the people that are just tuning in now? <laughs> <laughs> That's Q, man. That's Q busting ass. <laughs> that's Q busting ass over there. Yeah, he's farting. Q, Q. That's been a that's been a problem of Q's for a while now. Milkshakes and farting. So back to the Beastie Boys. This Beastie Boys rip off band, the White Boys. <laughs> Now check these guys out. It's amazing. They're actually pretty amazing. Are they for real? Yes, the white boys. Pump me up and check out their record. This is hardcore, is it not? The white boys. <laughs> this is kind of tight. This dude is definitely the ill. He gets all the bitches. This dude is, that dude doesn't get that many bitches. And that dude might not get bitches, but get, you know, you know what I'm saying? And they changed their hairstyles too. Like, look at the first single here. They mixed it up a little oh! bit. Oh! They went a little more punk rock on this one. I like I like the jean jacket, you know, and the leather jacket and the hair. Was that are those mullets? Yep, those are mullets. Those are mullets. The white boys. The white boys, man. So next time we talk to Mike D, you gotta ask him about the white boys. Does he know about them? Well, he does now, right? <laughs> They're amazing, though. The white boys. Where are they from? I'm not actually sure. I think it might be like North Carolina or something like that. Oh, look at the back, dude. They got all the shots of like different times that they are performing. And yeah, one of the guys plays guitar too. Yeah, man. A go, go. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. What is? Is this a rabbit's tail hanging from his head? That's that some new looks for you, Mac Miller. Yeah, I might have to steal that one. The rabbit's tail hanging from my head. The first time you did weed, did you get robbed? Yeah, I did get. How do you know that? Did you? Did you okay. Yeah, I did, man. It was a fucked up situation. Not actually like raw, but some old. I was in fifth grade, you know, and I was getting high. Fucking thought I was James Bond and shit and started running around the basement. And then the kid that I was getting high with, his older brother came down and was like, How old are you? And I was like, 10, but I'm gonna be 11 in a month. And that wasn't enough for him. And so he put me in a chokehold real quick and took my weed. And then I was out, you know, that was the last time I smoked with that dude. Fuck. Well, thanks much, Mac Miller. Keep on rocking in the free world and do do the loot do. Do do.